So my name is Justin D. Kosmovsky. Uh, I have been working with CISL for over 10 years, I think, in, in various roles. So starting with speaking, I now uh, teach on the Postgraduate Certificate in Sustainable Business uh, with a value chains focus. Um, what I bring to that as one of the practitioner tutors on that course um, is experience in social innovation and impact strategy. So the majority of my background has been kind of corporate sustainability, corporate strategy. We work globally essentially, uh, with my primary focus being um, clients in the UK and in Europe, uh, and a lot of our work being with marginalized communities and, and um, therefore for me in, in Africa as well. So um, we've just finished some work in West Africa. Uh, I lived and worked in Nairobi for some time, and so we've, we do a fair amount in, in East Africa as well. So most of our work um, is with the corporate sector. So that's kind of the perspective that I'm coming from. And one of the big shifts I've seen over several years has been a shift from what I would call kind of a headwind to a tailwind, whereas previously we were um, constantly trying to make the case and we were pushing sustainability as a topic and as a concern um, and, and always justifying it. I feel like the winds have shifted now where from consumer, from investors, from um, employees from a variety of sources, there's now a real draw and, and sustainability is something that organizations and leaders are really trying to understand and integrate more effectively, which is fantastic, but it comes with a set of challenges around when sustainability is no longer in one part of the organization and there's sort of a, a team driving it, we're now finding we have to work with a variety of other parts of the organization, understand how they're going to integrate this, operationalize it, um, and, and communicate, measure, all those, all those things. So I am a fellow at CISL. Uh, my primary uh, activity is uh, the annual Postgraduate Certificate in Sustainable Business course, on which I'm one of the practitioner tutors. Um, so bringing my experience from uh, working at the intersection of strategy, sustainability, and innovation, um, mostly within corporates. Uh, and I bring that to the students and to some of the, the, the course content as well. Um, I'm also a member of Canopy, um, which is CISL's um, sort of sustainability incubator and, and kind of community and, and co-working space essentially here at Cambridge in the Intopia building. Um, and that keeps me really nicely connected with uh, both CISL activities and staff and, and it's, been, it's been a fantastic also kind of getting to know some of the other um, SMEs and innovators who are, who are part of Canopy as well. So I think CISL is driving systems change um, in, in a really intelligent way in that they are shifting vocabulary, they're shifting the, the, the mindsets that people have, that leaders have around what is sustainability, what is good enough. Systems change and the changes we need will only happen when multiple parts of the organization and actually multiple organizations within industries and sectors are able to make those changes. So one of the things that's impressed me and, and really given me some hope is we've had a, been working with a large um, consumer goods company here in the UK for years, and they've had a very significant leadership shift recently. And one of the things that's happened to me during my career and, and at various stages is a leadership shift quite often meant that sustainability was absolutely on the chopping block. Um, and what was phenomenal to see was that this organization in a period where leadership change was coming and then with the new leader coming on board, sustainability was absolutely not on the chopping block. It was one of those sort of protected ring fenced elements that was like, this must be part of the future of this organization, irrespective of, of the leader who's gonna come in. And that for me was, was a, a moment of sort of saying, okay, like, I'm not saying we're gonna be okay, we haven't sorted it all out, but clearly something really significant has shifted that in a publicly traded company, the, the sustainability work that they're doing, and it's, it's not the, the minimum, you know, they're, they're pushing on this topic, um, was ring-fenced and was clearly, irrespective of the new CEO, new leader who's coming in, this was gonna be something that we're pushing. So that was something that really did give me a, a sense of hope, uh, and, and it was very different from how I've seen those kinds of situations play out in the past.